Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profolutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel admin panel development beginner tutorial and this is our part 14. Inside this video session guys, we are going to make the form layouts for add section and add class. And also guys, if you are beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel admin panel development tutorial. So basically what we have discussed so far, we have created our admin panel, we have made our left sidebar, inside this left sidebar, we have different different types menus and sub menus. But right now, when we click on this add section, we have no form instead of this simple message. So we want to implement a form, by the help of that form actually we will save some data to our database table. It means that we have to attach some of the view files for these sub menus like add section, add class, like add type, add faculty and basically for add student. Basically these are for the adding section. So in these cases we need a form. So back to editor. Now go to our HTTP folder inside controllers and all these controllers first of all we are going to set about the layout for let's say that add section so back to editor let's open up our routes.php file first so inside routes folder we have a file called web.php inside this web.php if I just suppose to get the route this is called add section so if I copy and search inside this file this is the route that we have developed this is the route connected with class section controller and inside that controller we have method called add school section so if I copy this method name first of all let's find about the class section controller and this is the controller inside this controller and we have a method something here this is simply message we are getting right now so we have to change according to our form layouts so back to our resources folder inside resources folder go to admin inside this views folder I'm going to create a file and the file should be PHP and something let's say that add section dot blade dot PHP we have created the file for the add section inside this file we have to implement our form okay so back to controller now I'm going to attach this view file according to this method so remove this echo message and let's say that return view this is a view function basically by using this view function we can attach our view file to any of the method inside this controller so let's say that we have to go inside admin admin inside admin we have to go inside views folder and inside this views folder we have a file called add section so if I save this page and also let's say that let's write some of the simple message so let's say h1 this is file save this page back to browser and I'm going to reload this page click on add section and this is the message that we are getting it means that we have successfully actually attached this file now next we have to make the layout inside this file so get rid of this simple message open up dashboard.blade.php and I'm going to copy all this syntax close this file and pasting it here now inside this syntax we have to remove the unnecessary things of dashboard so first of all we have to remove about the visits so this is all about the visit first second third and fourth so I'm going to remove all these things and inside that let's say h1 simple message so save this page reload this section and this is our simple message okay we have to change this dashboard section so if I go up let's say that this is not dashboard let's say add section okay and I'm going to remove this control section this is home and this is all about let's add section go to browser reload this page and this is our add section page now we have to make a form right here so if you have remembered guys then we have downloaded our HTML admin theme so this is all about admin LT theme inside this theme if I open index.html page 
go to browser and now this is our HTML so inside this HTML we have a form section so click on general elements this is the these are the forms basically admin LTE theme provides so I'm just go, going to copy any of the form and pasting inside that view file so let's say that if I inspect this code and uh, let's say that I'm going to copy this box box primary okay so if I copy this here copy this element back to editor and uh, inside this h1 remove this first and I'm going to paste it here so if I save this file back to browser reload this page and now as we can see that we have implemented our quick example form or back to our main template I'm going to just copy this call md6 copy this whole things back to editor and I'm going to paste right here so if I save this page reload this section and as we have implemented so it actually attached all unnecessary forms also so we have to remove all these things also so if I go up this is our quick example so we have to keep as and these are the things that we have to remove also so I'm going to remove all these things uh, basically this is the thing that we have to kept and uh, remove all these things okay so save this page back to browser and this is the form that we have implemented inside our add section so we have to actually change the field names according to our need so and also we have to remove this quick example from here so back to editor and uh, I'm going to remove this quick example so what are the fields that we have to keep inside this form so first of all let's give ID ID is something called FRM let's add section and method should be what will be the method that we have to pass we will discuss later in this inside this playlist and also okay we have done all the form elements next we have to rename this email so let's say that this is not email so this is let's say section name okay what section name we want to create this is input type text and let's say that section name so I'm going to copy this name and inside this name attribute we have to put that inside placeholder let's say enter section name and uh, this is copy this section name and replace inside this label also finally we have to attach a drop down list so let's say that this is let's say status it is if I remove this input type text and also I'm going to remove this D from here checkbox from here and let me make a drop down so this is select we have to add a class so let's say class and this is form control okay and inside this we have to attach two values first of all the section is either active or let's say inactive and inside this we have to pass some values so value should be in case of activities one in case of inactive it should be zero and also let's pass some ID values so FRM or let's say DD status so copy this name and inside this name attribute let me paste it here so if I save this page and also copy this ID replace with this label attribute and reload this section this is called section name and the status these are the two fields that we need inside our add section if we go to a database table inside this database we have a table like TBL class section inside this class section we have a made field called section and status so basically this is section name and this is the status that what we have developed inside our form so first of all we have done or we have completed about add section form next we have to make our add class okay this is add class so back to editor let me make a file something called add and this is class dot blade dot PHP I'm going to copy all this layout from as section pasting inside this file save this page 
back to controller copy this view syntax go to our class controller and uh, this is what will be the route route is add class and this is uh, if I scroll down this is add class a school class controller it is using that so if I open list something called a school class controller and this is the echo let me paste it here this is not add section this is about add class save this page back to browser reload this section and this is add section so first of all we have to change that this is not add section this is all about for add class so let's say that add class so what are the elements basically we want inside this form will we decide by going through database table so click here click inside here and tbl classes inside this classes we have form elements like name class section ID seats available and status so basically we make four elements or four input elements so back to editor scroll down this is all about class name and this is frm add class okay so class name and this is all about class name so copy this element name scroll here replacing it and also replacing it this is enter class name first element we have done this is the status last element also we have to make a drop down list so if I copy this from here pasting it here and this is all about class section ID so let's say that choose section these are the section basically comes while adding from this form because this is the section and this is the class this class has been attached with this section so inside later video session we will attach that how can we add the form elements and we will be populate all these values to this drop down list so let's say that dd and this is let's say section so if I copy this name pasting it here and pasting it here so right now let's say only a static value called a something called b and let's say c right now we have put only static values actually we will create all these values from this add section form and let's say that section id so basically this contains the value of 1 2 and 3 so we have done four elements three elements now next we have to copy and pasting it here this is for the seats available so if I undo this element and putting inside class section and let's say that instead of class name this is seats available so this is available and okay so this is about seats copy this name back here and pasting it here and pasting it here so this is all about and also we have to specify a placeholder so let's enter seats and this is all about this is input type number and it will contain a minimum value and something let's say that one okay so if I save this page back to our browser reload this section and inside this add class we have four, four elements like class name choose section this is about seats available and what is the status of this class so successfully guys we have implemented about two forms inside admin panel first of all we have seen about add section next we have seen about add class inside our next video session guys we will implement about add type add faculty and add student so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching. Have a great day.